I'm Julia, this is Random English, and today we're going to talk about working freelance. So, at the moment, I don't have an official job or, let's say, a regular 9 to 5 job. I don't work in an office. I work freelance. Working freelance means that you're not working for just one company or one person, you do different, uh, sometimes quite small, sometimes bigger tasks and orders for different companies and people. I chose this type of job because I didn't want to work in the office anymore. And today I'm going to talk about a couple of pros and cons of working freelance. Pros means advantages, good positive things, and cons means disadvantages, negative, not very good things. Let's start with the pros. The first pro is that I can work wherever I want, whenever I want, and however I want. Like, I can work early in the morning, late at night, or some days not work at all, and um, I can pause in the middle of my work to like, go and play with my cats, and work is in my PJs, and so on. And to be honest, for me, my last job was... Um, I spent like two months there, just two months and left, because it was very stressful, very strict, and I needed to relax, and working freelance helped me a lot. Not everyone enjoys it, but for me, it's a very great pro. Another pro, which is uh, quite important for people living in big cities, is that I don't waste time on commuting, going to and from work. Again, at my last job, I spent more than three hours a day just on commuting. It took me more than an hour and a half to get to work and the same to get back home. It was crazy. I mean, sometimes in the morning I came to work tired after traveling to work for so much time. And come on, like, if you are already tired in the morning, how do you feel in the evening after a long working day? So, again, for me, this is a very, very big pro. Now, let's have a look at some cons. The first one is when you work freelance, money is not always reliable. When you work in an office and get a salary, you get your money usually, hopefully, regularly, on the same date, once a month, twice a month, depends on the company. And you can rely on it. You can plan your budget because you know that on this date you will get this sum of money. When you work freelance, you can't always be sure. Sometimes I have a lot of orders and money flows in. And sometimes, even if I try to find orders and actively promote myself, I have zero and very, very little money. So this is definitely a con. Another con for me, sometimes it's quite hard to discipline myself when I work at home. Like, come on, sometimes it's so tempting to just Netflix and chill with my cats instead of looking for work or actually working. And this is not a big problem for me, but yeah, sometimes it's very, very hard to create discipline. So again, that's why this is a con. So these were some pros and cons of working freelance from my point of view. What about you? Have you ever worked freelance? What was your experience? What other pros and cons did you have? Please share in the comments and let's have a discussion. Well, that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you around in my future videos. Bye-bye.